All right, y'all, that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about redistribu redistributing the wealth in America. And uh, first and foremost, I want to, you know, shout out to uh, Dr. Anderson. He was just previously on the Be Breakfast Club. He enlightened me. And I most definitely want to give a shout out to uh, Judge Joe Brown. Because, you know, I inspire to be like both of them, even though I'll probably never have a Ph.D. And i never be a lawyer. I'll never have a law degree. But uh, I want to talk about, you know, I want to go and talk about the topic about redistributing the wealth in America. What's crazy about all this is me watching them two black icons, black uh, black role models, is that, man, they just reinforce what I was thinking. Because if you think about it, a lot of people in America think they free. And we really ain't. Black people, man, we don't own nothing. And we walking around because we got a new car, some new purses, some new shoes, some jewelry. But every, th every money that we spend, it's all coming out of our neighborhoods. And that's what I always been saying. And we wonder why we frustrated. We being preyed upon. We being leached on. And it's just, it's funny, man. It's just, it also goes, it coincides with religion. I'm not a religious person, but, you know, it's like everybody is in this race for, uh, you know, religion, religious su superiority. Su superiority. Uh, you know, who, who got the most knowledge and that ain't righteous. We supposed to be on the same accord. We supposed to be able to sit back, fellowship, talk about certain things without a person getting frustrated or mad because this is not a race. But like Dr. Anderson said, race is all about who's coming in first place. Why we thinking we all the same and we should love everybody and love yo, love everybody. Color doesn't matter. Man, color does matter. Back when the slaves came over here, all the all the immigrants came too, and they came for prosperity. And the United States government gave everybody but us free land. I'm talking about they gave billions and billions and billions and billions of free land out. But guess what? They ain't give black people shit. Yeah, they set a motherfucker free, but what do we have to live off of? They didn't give us no 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 land, no cattle. No, they didn't give us nothing. So my thing is this, man. You know, Martin Luther King wanted us to segregate, but like Dr. Anderson said, how can you segregate when you don't how could you segregate? Uh, not, no, it's not segregate. It's um, how can you integrate sociably without economic, economically integrate, in, in, integration? You know, you want to in, integrate into another people's lifestyle and society, but how can you integrate if it's not, if you don't have any social integration? And the thing about it is, you got all these people that's preying upon us, all these different races, nationalities, and they all winning. They all winning. We go in their stores. We we um we pay we pay we pay for their kids to go to college by go, getting into the institutional, the judicial system. We have to get lawyers. We pay their kids to go to college. We don't own shit. We don't own, you know what I'm saying? We don't own a goddamn thing, man. I'm, I'm pissed off, dude. This is shit that I've been, I already felt. But 
as I as my as, as my my journey for knowledge, <coughs> excuse me, my journey for knowledge, I'm stumbling across things daily, man. And um, you know, I'm walking up these hills, y'all. Whoo, man, this is cold exercise, man. This is cold exercise. Whoo, y'all see me? Yeah, head sweating. That's what a good workout do. <laughs> Whoo. Ah, damn, my shirt's crooked and everything, I felt. Y'all see that hill I just walked up? Ooh-wee. Lord, have mercy. But uh, I'm just spiritual ventilating, man. That's all I'm doing. I'm spiritual ventilating. And I'm just, I'm just so, I'm just so upset. Whoo, dang, man. That hill tore my butt up. <laughs> but, uh, man, I just want to say, man. They gave all these foreigners that come to America for um, for a new life, for a better life, but they gave blacks nothing. They gave us nothing. Black people only, we don't even own 1% of the economy of America. 1%, not even 1%. And if you think about that, it says in the American Constitution that all men was created equal. Do you believe that? That's my thing. Do you, do you believe it? I don't believe it. And if you think we, if you think we as a people, if you think we free, Y'all lie, and it's not racism because how, how am I, you know, how I got a lot of people walking up on me, man, tell you racist, man, why you don't like white people? Man, that's a damn lie. How can you be racist? Like, once again, I'm quoting Dr. Anderson. How can you be racist if you're not in power? Economically, we, not, we can't afford to be racist. We only people that are racist is the ones in power. I'm, you mean to tell me I'm racist just because I'm focusing on my people? You know, I get frustrated a lot of times because, you know, I don't have the words and the, and the vocabulary. You know, I once did before, you know, I, you know, I start selling dope and all that. They say if you don't use it, you will lose it. Man, I had, I had to re, I had to re and plant knowledge and education in my mind. Oh, shit, I almost lost it. I had to, I got to, I had to gain it back. But um, it's crazy, man. We do not own a motherfucking thing in America. We don't own shit. And if you don't believe me, all you got to do is look around you. Look around you, man. We don't own shit. You know, it's it's crazy, man. Um. Well, that's what I was going to say, man. I want to touch up on a lot of things. He was basically just saying things like, when you go to the Kentucky Derby, do you want all the horses to come in together, come in even? That's why it's called a race. This ain't no fucking equality, man. That's the biggest joke, man. Like for real, black people, y'all, and we, and why we, why we thinking we cool and hip and smart? Guess what? We losing the race. We are fucking losing the fucking race, dude. You know what I'm saying? White people got all the businesses. They got all the stores. They got all the businesses. They got all the fucking stores. They got every fucking thing. It smells like fucking Applebee's around this bitch. You know what I'm saying? It smells like Applebee's. You know what I'm saying? We don't got a goddamn thing, man. This is a race and we losing. We losing this fucking race, y'all. But, uh... It's just crazy, man. Um, I just, you know, I was just spiritual ventilating, man. I'm about to go with my partners, sit back and just chill. You know, today Louisville plays Kentucky, so, you know, there's certain things about, certain things that I like about America that I probably won't ever give up on. 
But uh, I'll come up with another video real soon. All right.